Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use digital sources on uh, Microsoft Word and uh, how to give in-text uh, in citations and how to give bibliography at the end. First of all, we open Microsoft Office. It can be 2007 or 2010. I mean, uh, look at the layout. The layout is different. Now, what happens is that uh, if I have to use certain sources uh, before I am writing or while I am writing, I am going to click on references and I have to choose the style I am following in my whole document. It can be APA, it can be MLA as well if I stick to APA. Uh, this is where uh, we have to be careful. Insert citation would come first of all you have to manage the sources. How many sources have you used so far? Now for instance, I'm talking about a book. I am using a book in my thesis. I'm using it in whatever manner. I'm coming to that later. But first of all, it is important that you have the entry of that source in your uh, this place that I just am showing you on the screen. You click on new and now you choose what are you uh, using in your thesis. It can be uh, in thesis or research. It can be a book. You have these options, book section, journal article report it can be a website which is uh, usually the case everyone wants to go there for convenience and document from website if you have downloaded something from some website and you have some further categories mentioned here also let's go to the most obvious one that is a book here is some information you have to enter like the author's name for instance if i say the author's name is john walker right i'm just uh, assuming somebody at the moment it's not the real name and the title of the book is The Fundamentals of Sociolinguistics. All right. This book was published. I have to find this information from the back cover in 1999. Oops. In 1997. And the city it was published perhaps can be something like Chicago. And the publisher was Oxford University Press. This is the basic information I need. And please remember that some of you, some of the people have asked me ke if it comes to page number and we want to be that specific. So fill up, you, you have to click here, show bi all bibliography fields. You click here, it shows you certain more areas and remember the ones with steric or the ones with stars are the ones which are considered compulsory. The other one pages for instance you say I have used page 45 to 56. Right? It's okay. No issue. Click OK. Now you see something here that uh, while I am writing something I have uh, developed something, uh, developed one of the sources here. I I keep on working and I find some other book and uh, before I start using it, I'm, I'm showing you a very shortcut here. Go on, click new and choose the type of source you are trying to use. For instance, it's a website. This time I'm just giving you an example. Book can be more than one. Websites can be hundreds of them. No issue with that. Normally in a website, you don't find the author. Let me open a page of website in front of you just to give you a demo. How to go about a website thing. Let's see this over here. For instance, if I say that this is, uh, I'm looking for something, symbolism in, 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 in Shakespeare's Hamlet. I hope literature is something you know, if you have no issue with this. Now, <coughs> I have things like this. Spark notes, as you can see, very obvious. People would love to go there. Analytical essays on symbolism in Shakespeare's Hamlet. This is something, for instance, I open this one. I am currently on a website. And as you can see over here, the website is showing me something. Here is an article specifically for things I am looking for. So, I, it's not a full article. I have to buy it for, for instance, I read the abstract over here and I find some lines useful and I want to use it. So this is the portion I have used. I'm going to come to this how to put that. But first of all, I am on resources at the moment. So let's go over this quickly. This is the link. And please see how many things do you see available here. There's a title of this, the article. And there's a name of the website here also. A-C-A-D-E-M-O-N. I don't know how to speak that. 
and uh, nothing much as such okay we come back to our work we are here we don't know the author of the page that we have just seen so leave that name of the web page yes we know the name of the web page that is this one because this is how the page is titled copy and here is paste name of the website again we go back to this a c a d e m o n this is the name of the website academon.com this is the name of the website you just copy this preferably but the name of the website is usually the one in the center right academon so we go like this a c a d e m o n and the year now again you don't know when was this page created if you know it somewhere information is given over here put it otherwise no issue same is the case with the month and the day these things might not matter as such in a website but this is what is going to matter when did you access it i accessed it 2011 and the month is april and the day is um, 15th and the url now this is of course something you should understand that a url of the page this is the link copy and you put it here that's it extra information that you might know or have click here and then you have some other fields opening see so depends it depends on you if you have this information it is fine otherwise nobody is going to have any problem with that if you know the author of the page which in some cases yes we see the name of the author especially uh in in encyclopedic kind of pages there you have such stuff click okay you have two you see this sources available in master list all right so now we see that over here in our master list we have two sources as such i would highly recommend that uh, since when you collect material for your research or collect material for writing your thesis you already have uh, i think normally four or five things with you to start with the ones you have studied before writing the thesis it's very wise that you put them here in the very start and side by side when you have problems you go to the internet you find sources so you keep doing the entry first let me explain the logic of the entry like that helps you to insert citations within the text that i'm going to show you in the next video i hope this uh, this small video of how to add sources to your own document will be helpful inshallah and keep one thing in mind the sources that you mention here travel with your document wherever it goes it goes on a flash drive it goes to another computer you email it to somebody the sources travel side by side so you should not have a worry that if i transfer my document from one computer to another will my sources be lost no they won't be so this is all about adding sources uh, and i'll talk to you in the next video about how to use these sources in the video thank you so much